Hello, everybody. Listen, we are in some solar eclipse energy, some new moon in Aries energy. And yes, this was a very much anticipated solar eclipse for many different reasons, none of which we're going to cover here. But the Arcturians have been saying through me and they're saying again now. They really want me to remind all of you with an earshot, stay optimistic, stay firm in who you are. My name is Yolanda Marie, and through these readings, the Arcturians seek to steer you to your highest potential for success. So make sure as these energies are moving through the collective that you clear any lack consciousness. That's a big deal. And use your energy to create and move forward. Let's get started. Hello, Gemini soul family. You're going into the unknown. With this solar eclipse and this new moon energy, there is just something that you're unable to see yet, or maybe you sense it and it's frustrating. So there's a lot of that going around as well. And so it's no different here, Gemini, but with this new cycle, there's a transformation happening that is unclear. <laughs> so what the Arcturians are really asking you to do is Keep going, but hold your ground in your authority. What you understand about yourself, what you believe, whatever it is you do, the foundation of you is secure. So keep going. Even when it feels like it's shaky or you might be moving backwards, so to speak, there are literally miracles happening behind the scenes, Gemini. That's what they want you to know. Remember your own value, your worth. Remember those dreams, what you're building. Just keep remembering that and persevere. Whatever you are seeking to create or manifest, it is happening even when you can't see it. So that's the big thing because this is so new. That's what's coming through. It's just so new that it might even throw you. <laughs> you know, it might feel really big or feel like it's too new almost or just... I don't know. It's like there's a sticking point somewhere that wants to keep you stuck. Don't let it keep you stuck. Keep going. That is the message. It feels really specific, Gemini, but I'm getting this is collective regardless of how specific this sounds. Apply it to your situation. <laughs> okay, that's what they're saying. Okay, sweet Gemini soul family, let me know if any of that resonates below. This solar eclipse energy is off the charts pretty much for everybody through this week. So drink plenty of water, get plenty of rest, really take care of yourself. And I will talk to you again very, very soon. Namaste. Hello, Libra soul family. This is really, really good. Just as something is leaving, something that has been transformed in your life, washed away, uh, perhaps deconstructed with this eclipse energy, there is something coming in, being brought into the light. Now, perhaps it's due to whatever left with the last eclipse, the lunar eclipse, okay? Uh, but either way, something is coming into the light that you, even if you were aware of it, you weren't sure it was going to become a tangible thing in your experience. Now, remember, this is definitely a collective reading, and these are potentials. This could be big, this could be small, this could be extremely important to you, or it could be something lighthearted, light. But it is strong in the potential energy. So enjoy yourself. You're being asked to really uh, seek out almost what brings you pleasure, right? And this is through the heart frequency, of course. This is all through the heart frequency. But you are worthy of this, Libra. So the Arcturians really want me to say this. Whatever is coming in, you need to know that you are deserving of this, worthy of this. Also, they want to talk about how something you invested time in, perhaps resources, if there, whatever this is coming to mind for you, Libra, whatever you can think of that you have put tangible resources into or time, energy into, there is significant progress that will show itself to you and to keep going. So this is still, even though things are going to show up to you, it's a keep going type of energy as well. And now this is one of the few readings that this is happening because they're short and sweet this time. But with this solar eclipse energy, 
rushing in. There's so much rapid quantum activity. Um, you, Libra, your collective especially, are having some positive results by really having learned how to keep things out of your experience that are not in alignment with you. So it's interesting the Arcturians want me to put it that way. They're, it's not that they're not wanting to tell you to do that. So also continue to do that. But something about this Libra collective, you've really been cleaning house. You've really learned how to kind of contain your experience within the sphere of your own creation, your own design, your own desires. It's really beautiful. And perhaps that's why you have these things coming in now and why this transformation uh, is appearing to be so wonderful, so magical almost. So, wow. But now they're coming through again to say, now do remind them, <laughs> definitely continue to, and they're calling it clean house, right? Uh, continue to make sure that your energy is what you want it to be. Really pay attention because good things are coming in Libra. All right. So what a beautiful message. Libra, soul family, let me know if any of this resonates below. Um, I am going to point out in the energy, there was a little bit of sadness, a little bit of disappointment that came through that may have, it could still be lingering, but it may have been from a previous cycle as these things, things were being cleared out. And it's like you're coming to the other side of that. Okay. That's how it is being shown to me. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that in there, in there, but let me know if any of this resonates with you, beautiful Libra soul family, and I will talk to you again very, very soon. Namaste. Hello, beautiful Aquarius soul family. Some type of huge transformation in your collective has been happening and is still seeming to be happening through this eclipse energy. And it's restoring balance in some way. Balance is being restored. Really to you, it feels very tangible. Now, this is going to vary, of course, right? Person to person, situation to situation. So apply it to yourself where it belongs, okay? But in a tangible way, this feels like balance is being restored perhaps to your health in some way that could be physically, mentally, emotionally, there is some sort of awakening that is happening because of this restoration. It's really, really beautiful. You have an opportunity to go from, let's just say, a 9 to a 10, right, along a progression here where you may have been really, really frustrated or just been not understanding how to maneuver a situation. Something was really maybe seeming like it wasn't going to work. And now it's just, it's almost like a letting go. Like, you know what? I give up. This is going to work. However, it's going to work. And then boom, there it is. It starts working. <laughs> so there really is a lot of letting go of fears and this energy in the potential. There is a very big, big energy around letting go of fears. There's a high potential that if you reach to let go of fears and just take little baby steps in a direction that you wouldn't have before, you're going to have this awakening. You're going to feel it, realize it more in your experience, Aquarius. It's really, really good. Now, another part of this message is there is something unexpected in the Aquarian energy that might happen, okay? Maybe an unexpected event, an unexpected message, just something unexpected, not necessarily big, okay? But it causes you or has the potential to cause you to make a choice, a different choice somewhere. It might force you to choose where you didn't think you would have to choose, something like that. And so following the lines of letting go of fears, right? Allowing this balance to just fully come into your view is going to help you make this choice and vice versa, right? They're going to work hand in hand. It's really, really good. This Solar eclipse, yes, things are leaving, but then as the light is shown again, you will be able to see so much more. It's really beautiful. Aquarius is always strong, solid, and you are willing to face these fears. I love you so much. Aquarius, soul family, let me know if any of this resonates below, and I will talk to you again very, very soon. Namaste.